Aloha guys, I just fed all the street cats. There's just about nothing more polarizing than abortion. It's even more polarizing than Donald Trump. If I was a woman, I feel I would be pro-choice 100%, but I'm not a woman. I'm a man, and that means I will never have to make that decision. In most instances, I have no say on any abortion that may or may not be performed. With that being said, I would be a father today if a woman I dated years ago did not have an abortion. Also, I have a twin brother and both of my sisters were twins. Not many mothers regret having their babies, but that doesn't mean we should force teenagers to have unwanted pregnancies. I don't think all abortions should be banned. I think the woman should have the most rights and options available. I'm pro-choice as far as that goes. But personally, I would not date a woman who would not see a pregnancy with me as a miracle. The majority of my viewers are women, almost 90%, and the vast majority of women are pro-choice. And pro-choice too. But that doesn't mean I would ever get romantically involved with somebody that is pro-choice as well. I generally take a libertarian perspective on these kinds of topics, and I think it's a woman's choice and abortion should be legal. However, I'm at the point in my life where I wouldn't get romantically involved with someone like that. It doesn't mean you need to force the 14-year-old homeless girl to have multiple pregnancies. I think the recent Supreme Court ruling will affect economically challenged women the most. Women with money are generally always on birth control. And if a woman lives in a state where abortions are illegal, she can afford a plane ticket to go to a state where it is legal. And that's not always the case for poor communities. If a young woman really wants to have an abortion, she will find someone to do it. And making abortion illegal in red states is going to create a black market for people to do dark alley abortions. That's how they were done before Roe vs. Wade. The recent Supreme Court decision is an attack on the medical profession. It makes the United States even more divided than it was before, and it shows how important Supreme Court nominees are. It sets a precedent for other court cases, and the different laws restricting gun control in one area and increasing gun rights in another area. It's very confusing. Most Americans are like me on these two divisive issues of gun control and abortion. We just want peace and everyone to get along.